When we talk to parents about the brain, we like to keep it really simple. And so we use Dan Siegel's model. And he uses the hand and says, this part of the hand is the brainstem, the primitive part of the brain that's occupied with survival. That starts to get wired up from before you're born until about the age of two. Then in the middle, you have your emotional brain. That really comes online between the ages of two and 11. And then wrapped around that is the neocortex. That's the higher brain, the thinking brain. And right here in front, in your forehead, that is the part called the prefrontal cortex, which inhibits your impulses. So when you detect a threat, real or otherwise, but your body detects a threat, you literally flip your lid and the part of the brain that's still online is your survival brain. Located right here in the center of the brain is the amygdala. That's the fear center of the brain. When the amygdala perceives a threat, it takes the message downwards to the primitive brain saying fight or flight. But there's another survival response which is even older and that's the freeze response. That's the playing possum. If you can't run away, you can't fight them, then you'll freeze. And there's one more and that's a totally different mechanism women produce the love drug oxytocin when they are under threat and that means that a woman can bond with her abuser as a means of staying alive think about it as making nice to stay alive many people don't understand this they don't understand why domestic violence victims stay with the abuser